What's up guys, it's your boy Damon and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. For those of you guys who missed this, I know I'm super late on this. I didn't even know what happened. Normally we got Ufim bot that lets us know these notifications um, actually in the uh, in our Discord. Uh, but it didn't, We I don't know, we missed this one, something happened. Maybe it was probably something on our Discord side. But I wanted to share this with you guys so you guys can close out your Guild Wars strong. Uh, for those of you guys who are serious about your Guild Wars and trying to get your Guild Wars in, Guild Wars Season 1 is closed. Closing. All right, and the crazy thing about Guild War season one and the fact that it's closing is that season two is not even gonna start until February. So it's a super long vacation, I'm thinking, in between, um, unless they decide to do something pretty serious with Guild Wars uh, preseason. So here we go. So Guild War season one schedule for global for us right here has been from 713 to 1229. So December 29th is about three, three to four days after the patch drops for the RTA preseason one launch um, guild season uh, guild war season one is going to close out and then we'll have preseason from the 29th and until February 24th guys jeez <laughs> and then season two doesn't even start till the 24th as well so we we got a while in between there so there's a lot of filler stuff that I think and I'm gonna address this when I talk about the patch prediction So, you know, you guys can kind of get into that uh, But as we get into the preseason schedule information players can participate in the preseason of guild war similar to how they participate in season one The same rewards will be granted for success failure draws in preseason Items sold during season one of guild war will be available for purchase during the preseason um, So for the guild war season two preview and I'm sure there's going to be more information to come as we get closer to guild war season two so don't lock in uh, assumptions just yet but they say that we plan to improve the season by carefully reflecting upon the opinions of our heirs from the experiences during Guild War Season 1 so what I think is going to happen guys is they're probably going to um, look at incentivizing Guild War Season because right now there's really no point to be you know anything <laughs> over top 100 because if you're top 100 uh, you get the same rewards as if you're top 20 or top 5 or top 3 or, you know, whatever. So I'd imagine that some kind of improvement to that system will come. So we can look forward to that. So now they're also talking about an optional draw function added. So players will be able to accept a draw after a certain number of turns during combat. So uh, if, you know, your, your fight's been going for 57 minutes even though it caps at 30 minutes, but let's say it's going been going too long, you have the option to draw out and then just leave. So if the match is considered to be a draw, then any hero that died in battle cannot be used uh, the following battle. So there's that. Just make sure you guys are aware of that. And then the updated guild information prior to battle, they're going to also make improvements that uh, prior to the start of battle, all guild teams information will be updated to show the latest information. Hall of Fame Season 1 will display the top three guilds. Uh, Guild Wars will be improved to display the results of the previous war. Improvements are planned so that players may view the main battle strategies by clicking an icon on the top of the Guild War map. I don't know what that means yet. Improvements are planned so that the CP will display so players can focus on specific buildings. And in the member shop, a new target, uh, excuse me, a new artifact will be added. So uh, that proof of valor will go away and then we'll get a new artifact to farm for. And then a variety of additional improvements will be implemented. So these uh, changes, like they said, are subject to change these changes are subject to change <laughs> as as things are, are made but like I said guys I think the primary function that's gonna happen is they are going to uh, find a way to incentivize wanting to be a top guild especially with future content coming so just a short video I wanted to give you guys a heads up of the guild war season closing uh, just in case you guys didn't see this uh, so for those of you guys who are doing guild wars you guys can you know again close the season out strong because it looks like we're going to have a very long vacation before the next season starts. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy Damone, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.